Next video, we're gonna show you how to change your IP address in the copier. The reason for that being is, let's say you get a new service provider, you get a new router, and your IP scheme changes from what the copier originally was. So we're gonna go into our system menu, we're gonna go to our counter, and we are gonna print out a status page. And that will give us what our current IP address is on the copier. That is going to be on the second page, right here under the IPv4. Here's our IP address. Once you know what your IP scheme is, now we can go into the copier and change it. So we are going to go system menu. We are gonna to go to the second screen, system network. And here's where you would put in your credentials. Once we got our copier credentials in there, it now allows us to go into the next screen. So we are gonna to go to network, and we are gonna to go to wired network settings. We are gonna to go to TCP IP setting, and then the IPv4. And here's where our current IP address is. So once we have know what our new IP scheme is, we just change the IP address accordingly, along with the subnet, and along with the gateway. And once we put all that in there, we just hit the OK button, close everything out. And what we like to do to make sure is reboot the copier, turn it off here, hit yes. And then there is a hard switch to the right, right above the cord where it plugs into the machine. So we just flip that one off and turn it right back on. and let the machine reboot itself again. Once it comes back up, if you wanna make sure that your IP address held in the copier, you can go back and print out the status page once again and see that it held it in there. And that is how you change your IP address on the copier.